what's going on. So it's a little di different than my stuff on my channel, but um, I've had this van converted for moto, uh, just like weekend trips, a week max. Um, and it's been working great for that, but we have this huge cross country trip coming up next year. So uh, I'm gonna dial it in for that. I got a few changes I wanna make. So I uh, figured I'd uh, film them all. So the first big change I'm gonna do, I try to get most of this done today. I have a bench seat here. And everyone with ProMasters know these bench seats suck. They're so straight up and down, not comfortable. They don't adjust at all. So originally I wanted to cut the backrest from this and make it removable, but I know with laws and everything, it can get tricky. No place would want to help me with it. I bought a passenger seat, 280 bucks shipped and everything. And this thing, this thing's in pretty nice shape. It's a little, a little bit stained, not too bad. Um, I'm gonna throw the seatbelt tensioner from my bench seat onto this one and have the uh, weight sensor from the middle seat and the seatbelt tensioner over there. Still attached, so the van, you know, nothing, no sensors are going off, no, no lights, nothing. And it's just gonna be tucked underneath this. At the same time, I'm ripping out this wall and uh, I gotta take apart my battery box a little bit too. But ripping out the wall and got tons of plywood and two by threes and stuff and gonna make a new wall, new partition with a uh, sliding door in the middle. Hopefully I can get this done within a reasonable time and uh, yeah, we'll have to see. All right, so took the bench seat out. I didn't film much because there's so many videos online about this, but I took out the middle seat occupancy sensor because without it, or if you do the resistor mod, um, just so you don't have the chime and you don't have any faults on the dash. Took out the new, or the uh, old uh, pre-tensioner because obviously the one on this, the seat is blown. Obviously, if it's in a wreck, that's gonna happen. Um, and that's just known to happen, so not a big deal. I will, uh, I'll swap those over, tuck the sensor and the other pretensioner under the seat, and uh, I'll just get a quick clip when, uh, when it's in. All right, so it's the next day. I uh, had some stuff to do yesterday, so I had to leave and kind of left early on to build the seat in, and it looks pretty nice. Came out really smooth, no faults on the dash, everything worked out good. I can still use the uh, OEM jack and all that under the seat. And then I moved on to uh, a second three inch memory foam mattress and added it to the bed. So now we got a pretty, pretty hefty bed. Um, it's pretty comfortable now. Before it was a little, it's a little too soft. So uh, you'd feel the wood down here, but now it's like, it's solid. Yeah, so I'm gonna put the bed back up and uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna start on the wall or the, uh, probably gonna start on the electrical box for now and uh, go from there. So after the mattress, I moved on tearing the battery box apart and uh, getting some of the bolts out of this wall. It's pretty easy. They're just Allen's Torx and then uh, uh, 13 millimeter and you drill out two rivets. But so I gotta drill the rivets out and just kind of wanna be able to get to a stopping point where I don't have to worry about this whole mess. But I should be able to get the wall out soon and I'll record that. All right, so all the bolts, the rivets, everything's out. And uh, I'm about to pull the wall out. Me and my dad were talking and uh, I don't know, I'm not sure if I'll put a wall in yet. Maybe I'll put some, some kind of curtain or I can put some kind of folding wall. Like, ideally it'd be great to have like uh, swivels, like the captain seats, captain's chairs, um, and be able to look into the back, have more sitting space in here. But uh, we'll have to see, I'm not sure yet.
Yeah. So with the wall out, definitely a lot more room. We were talking about it and there's a few different ways we can go with this. Um, the best way would be getting some kind of, uh, you know, like accordion wall, like uh, partitions you see in a, a conference room. So I can pull it to one side and close it, open it up, and I can still get the swivel seats and fully open it up if I want. And that'll dampen the sound and help with heat. And then maybe a curtain, but I think that'll be too loud. And then a full wall, but then we can't swivel. So a few different ways. We'll, we'll have to decide on one of them. Hopefully uh, have it done this week. Thank you.